When you're sitting down and making a song, working on it, or maybe just walking around doing the same thing, because this can often happen too, are you trying um, to do anything other than uh, enlarge your bank balance? Um, oh, definitely, you know. It's um, not just strictly a commercial no, oh no. venture? Actually, if it was, I wouldn't be able to do it. If I thought of it that way, I wouldn't be able to do it. How do you think of it? Um, it's, it's funny because you're not going to believe me, but I don't think of it when I do it. You know, you sort of have a few drinks or something, and you sit down, and you think of something that somebody said, or, or a television program you saw, say, somebody in Vietnam getting shot or something. And it's sort of forms a pattern in your brain, like a dream, like playing, I suppose you can compare it to dreaming as well. Sort of lots of things compressed and it explodes. And I think, like music, is an emotion that I, like Ray can write a song about anything, or I can't, it's got to be an emotion first. For the time being, I'm very busy trying to keep going because I started off writing because we didn't have any material and I've found that I've got a way to put things over, put ideas over to people and it's very interesting now and I don't want to stop. You're very disciplined about your writing or do you wait for an idea to drop out of the sky? <laughs> well, something I learned when I was trying to be a painter, it, you can't wait for inspiration. It's 99% hard work. And it is. But not hard work sitting down from 8 o'clock in the morning till 12 at night, just writing anything. You've got to think hard work is walking around talking to people, wanting to find out, wanting to know. And it's quite hard and getting through to people. This is the hard part. You're not uh at least I, I, I'm guessing when I suggest this, you don't seem to me to be somebody who's, who's particularly uh, involved or concerned with contemporary themes of social injustice, this kind of thing. You seem to me to be rather a detached person who's taking a sort of bird's eye view of the situation. You've got to be detached to a certain extent, but you've got to be truthful as well. And that's difficult, I think. Why, why this necessity for a, a sort of detachment from the scene? For example, um, Waterloo Sunset, throughout that, all the time, there's this impression of you not like the others, looking down on this yeah, scene. Yeah, but it's detached, but it, but it isn't. It's so detached. It's, it's welded together to everything else. It's like, uh, That's it's a detached but for a purpose. That's a get, paradox to get, which you yeah, understand, yeah, but get, I don't. Can you explain no, it? This is a problem. <laughs> Trying to... <sighs> you take everything from that, from what you see. Say you've got a... I used to go on a train to art college. I used to get on a Charing Cross, and go across the bridge. I used to come back at night. And I used to have little things in my mind that went on. Uh, I used to look in the windows, in the shops. And then a few years later, I'm doing something else. And I find myself at the same place. And it's still the same. Yet I've been very detached from it. I've been thousands of miles away from it. But all of a sudden, I'm there again. And it's like may sound detached, the ideas might be detached, but, but at the same time they're, they're inside people. I think that's as far as I can go there. How did you get the idea for Waterloo Sunset, particularly? Everything was right for it. It's like, if I stopped writing, I went out and I went past buildings that reminded me of the song. It was just, everything happened. I saw rivers and things, and I had to do it. 
Yeah, you mean every uh, impression that you had kind of fell into the song? Yeah, yeah. And it just felt right. That's why I did it. Because I... Because I like it. I... <laughs> I like that place. <laughs>